Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about those toggle switches. Welcome to a new video. The Qashqai has some toggle switches, which depends on the version of Qashqai that you have. The luxury version do have some more. And as you can see, there are also always some blank switches so today i'm going to install an extra toggle switch that i ordered online i've put some tape on it as i don't want to reveal yet what i'm going to install it's part of my bigger project but as you can see that is uh, one of the switches that are as the original you can buy them uh, on aliexpress for um, about seven euros and as you can see, they come with uh, four cables, no manual whatsoever. But the idea is that the blue and yellow cable are your switch buttons. So in and out. And the black and red one are for the backlight. So the red one should be connected to one of the other switches over here. The black one should be connected to the ground. And so the blue and yellow cables are going to your accessory. So we take the multimeter again. It's always wise to do some small tests before installing, just to be sure that you have a working button. So I've connected the blue and the yellow cable to the multimeter. Put the pins in this position and you turn it over to the test function. And as you can see, when I press it, it works. And when I press it again, there's no contact. So the switch works. So in order to access this panel, we should remove the cover of the fuse box. Now with, with that removed, I can simply pull here in order to get the panel removed. I have now feed it my cable through, as you remember from the last video that I sh share here. I fed my cable from the engine bay into the uh, cabin. So here's this cable and I will connect my accessory toggle switch to this accessory cable. So all I have to do now is decide where to put my new switch and I think I'm going to use this empty one. We are now going to proceed with installation of the switch, the toggle switch itself. This procedure can also work for you if you um, don't like the order of those switches. You want to interchange them. So uh, you could easily swap them around to your likings. If you have a luxury problem that you have used all the slots, well you also can decide to remove one of the switches but you leave them connected and you just leave them behind there as some of those options can be also set within the settings panel in order to get a better access i pulled also on this side just pull backwards and it comes loose loose and unscrew the screws under here and all the panel will come off now I have way better access, as you can see there are a lot of cables running around. I also have my footwell lightning with a little hidden switch there. I will clean that cable mess up as I'm in there anyway. But first we'll do the toggle switch. So this time I decided to remove the three screws completely in order to have all round access to this um, component which makes it way more easier to remove the original um, cover and place my toggle switch in. So with the switch in place, we now have to do the cabling. In order to do so, uh, you can use the neighbor switch or directly the fuse box. I'm going to use uh, a little bit of both worlds. So first I'm going to wire 
the plus to the neighbor and the ground I will connect here to the car itself to the metallic part this, this way I can always reuse and rewire other um, stuff to the same cable and then I will connect both blue and yellow to the accessory cabling so I'll show you these kind of connectors are really handy you have a male part and a female part so this is the female part which you slide around the cable of your desire the male part you install on the cabling you want place it around the cable close it up and just pinch with some pliers this will slice the cable a little bit open and create a direct contact and you can plug your new cable in this way you have some of some kind of bypass if you want to change the connection or you want to um, uh, bring it back to the original state you can always open this kind of connectors and you can um, put a little bit of isolation tape around and this way um, you don't have to cut into the original wiring of the car really handy so this one is connected now I'm going to connect the ground and ground cabling so this is quite a thick cable that will sit back here and I can always use if I want to uh, connect other switches to it as well so I used a female and male connector but I used some isolation tape in order to um, hide them safe so this is my toggle switch connected next step is connecting the accessory but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a fuse holder as well so the signals coming in from the engine bay through the fuse holder into the toggle switch and then back to the engine bay to the accessory itself so as you know um, soldering is the most uh, secure connection to two wires you can twist them like this and uh, put some isolation tape around but not only it isn't solid it won't guarantee uh, the greatest contact neither but a lot of people say uh, well I like this um, modification that you did but I don't really don't like to uh, solder to my car well there is a very easy solution and that are those solder shrink tubes now I'll demonstrate how it works so you twist the wires very easy you slide just over to the bit you want to solder as this then you need some kind of heat source so i will use my um, heating gun like this eventually the lead will melt so as you can see now this was isolated and soldered in the same time really neat so you can slide an extra isolation around if you want it isn't really necessary but you, you can if you want and better than this it won't get the as it should from the toggle switch blue is the incoming signal from the accessory yellow is the outgoing here the red one is connected to the neighbor and the black one is connected to the ground so I'm going to refix this panel in place 
clean up a little bit the cable mess and fix the panel back. I will put the fuse just behind here. This way I can uh, I can still install or replace the fuse when needed without having to uh, open up everything uh, like now. So here it will sit nicely. And I fixed with isolation tape the cabling that is going to the engine bay so it won't move. Putting it back is as easy as just clipsing it back in. I will now reinstall both screws in here as well. And there it is, my little toggle switch. So the color is a little bit darker, but I can't say if it is due to time uh, with the sun and everything. Uh, but still, it uh, still looks as original, I think. I can't reveal yet what logo it is, uh, but I tested it by turning on my lights and the backlight did work. And I will come back to you for the final result. Bye bye.